Welcome to Sentry 1. In this video, we will investigate how to add more control over our alerts by using the Action Settings and Condition Settings tabs within the Conditions pane. Let's begin our discussion with the Action Settings tab. This tab, depending on the Condition Action Pair selected, will provide us with ways to tailor our alerts. The most common action that is paired to our conditions is the Send Email action. With this action selected, the Action Settings tab will allow us to select the users and or groups that we wish to send our alerts to. We will also be able to specify the importance of these alerts and provide a different from address in cases where rules are being used to route emails in your email client. For example, I wish to get an email when one of my jobs starts, so I will select the SQL Server Agent Job Started condition with the Send Email action from the conditions list. I will then select Darth Vader to receive this alert in the Action Settings tab. I will change the importance to High and I will leave the from address alone. Once I click away from the conditions pane, these settings are automatically saved. Now let's take a look at the Condition Settings tab. This tab will allow you to define rules that a condition must meet for the condition to be fully satisfied. Building on my previous example, I will further define the alert for the SQL Server Agent Job Started condition by selecting New in the Condition Settings tab. I will then click on the plus symbol to add a new condition. From here, I will click on Owner and select Object Name. Instead of Begins With, I will click here and select Equals and then I will enter in the value for my job. Now I can select the Save button. At this point, instead of receiving an email for every job that starts, I will only receive an email for the job that is named Test. If you have any questions about this information or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.sentryone.com. Thanks for watching.